So the real secret to gap control is to have your hand up like this. I'm just kidding. So you wanna learn how to do gap control. Well, the first step is to watch my video, how to move or how to defend like an elite NHLer, where I go over the specific skating patterns that you should use to have a good pattern that allows good gap control. So that's the first step. It's a great video, it'll show you all those mechanics. But when you're actually in that rush, if you wanna learn exactly how to control the gap if a player slows up, these are the mechanics that you'll use skating backwards. It's optional, probably not gonna make a difference, but it's optional if you do the hand thing. Um, I'm not really sure why that's done, but uh, you can try it. So what I tend to recommend for gap control going backwards is the soft drag. And what that looks like at speed is I'm here and I'm soft dragging backwards like this. Now the reason I recommend that is because when you're skating backwards, it's hard, like how else would you stop? You could stop with like a reverse snow plow. You could do like a two foot stop, but both of those things slow you down, but then also have you lose your momentum. So if I'm coming back and I'm skating and then I like do a two foot stop, then if the defender goes the other way, I'm hooped and I've lost all my momentum. If I do a reverse snow plow stop, I just come back and I just do a two foot stop like this. I don't even know how to do that. But if I did, I would lose all my momentum. When I do the soft drag, what ends up happening is I end up closing the gap like this without losing momentum. So I didn't have to really do a whole bunch of movement. I didn't have to like push too hard, but I was able to quickly change my direction without a ton of effort. So that soft drag going backwards is super helpful. You can also, as you're defending, using a soft drag, you can turn it into a step forward if you need to. But that is for another video. The first step is really getting the soft drag backwards as your key mechanic. So the backwards soft drag is a really critical mechanic for you to learn to close the gap if you are doing the pattern correctly. So watch the uh, how to defend like an elite NHLer uh, video because that'll show you the pattern. But inside of that pattern, use the soft drag backwards to get really good at closing the gap without committing, without losing momentum. And all of this, by the way, is available in the downhill skating system, in the Train 2.0 Plus membership, where you can learn exactly how to learn to soft drag first forward, then backward to integrate it into your game. So if you wanna learn that, click the link for the free training. I'd love to see you there so you can learn those mechanics, but I hope you learned something in this video and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.